just been for the run. Managed to do it in the daylight today. It's good, it's good. Right, so we need to adjust this to rewrite the list because we've got a load of stuff done and I've got a couple of other things to go on. Because now I've got the uh, batteries charged up. really it's just a bit of a slightly niggly thing you know one of those and really easy to fix the problem is this it's hinge it only seems to happen when i'm closing the door So this is why I'm not going out to do the hedge cutting yet. All right, rain or no, let's go. Right, it's stopped raining, and I've got to be picking Tom up at two o'clock in 50 minutes. I wonder if I can cut that hedge in 50 minutes. Let's go. and the board so I can get up high and do the top properly. Here's the uh, super sketchy setup I'm going to use for cutting the top of the head with a high powered tool that could easily take your fingers off. I've got two step ladders with a board balanced between them and you'll notice they're different heights, different step ladders. So this one is actually going to be going uphill. Doing it this way, should I? I'm sure, if there's going to be people at like health and safety who are going to be watching this. And then go, no, no, don't do it. You've got to work with what you've got, haven't you? And that's that's what I've got. Man in shade climbs onto the ladder in sketchy, sketchy manner. Wow, this is uh, quite deep. Time check. Still time. Okay, set up two, moved along a bit. Okay, I'm gonna try it all the way along. By having power one, moves the cutters in just the right speed to be able to get through the branches. With a petrol mower. It was way too fast and used to get hung up and used to bounce off the branches because it's moving too quickly rather than having enough time for the branch to fall in between these gaps. So when the motor's running too quickly, it speeds so quickly it doesn't allow time for the branch to get in there to get cut. But with the lower revs, it does. Very cool. Given the option between this battery version and a petrol version from the outset, if you've got the choice, don't cock about, just go straight for this. It's a better tool, it's lighter, it is powerful, and uh, as long as you've got the batteries, you can just keep going and going and going. Operation then. So you've got three controls on here, sorry, a lock trigger and the go. As you can see, at the moment, the go won't move at all. That won't be moving until you've got the lock trigger down, then, you can use the speed trigger but it's still as you can hear dead so you've got a three-way check so you can't start it automatically so you have to push the thing forward and hold it then push down on this one and then you can use the trigger in three sequences so it's one two and then you've got the trigger this thing adjusts the speed so if you want it on low mode it's just one pressed if you want it to go into speed two press and hold 
goes to speed two and that is obviously double the speed press and hold again goes to max speed and so if you're using like a i don't know chainsaw or something that'd be ideal for that watch that later on but for now look at that 40 minutes hedge done i've put them away i'm gonna go and get tom now but why not take my laptop and then i can do another one on the list while i'm waiting for him to come out of college hopefully i can get an edit done whilst i'm waiting for him sweet i'm here i'm 20 minutes early so i've got some time to be able to get the next set of videos sorted sorted all right that's tonight's video sorted on to the next right here we go then we got back after picking up time time for part two and the chainsaw attachment Power up, power onto two. There we go, done. So I've just got to put the kit away. And then I think we're good for beer o'clock. Do you know what? I don't know if I make it better and you've got the right tools for the job. Right, let's get you back and we're done. It only took two minutes at the end with that chainsaw. Bloody hell. As I say, the right tools for the job. But before we go for the beer, let's just show you what we've done. Sorted. Sorted. It's like that. It's really quick. So, a few more things off the list, a few more things back on, of course, but it's getting there. So don't forget, if you like watching general stuff going on, then have a look down here and click on that subscribe button. And if you click on that bell icon next to it, then you'll be notified when the next video gets released. At this moment, I'm trying to do a video a day. I'm not sure how long I'll be able to keep this up. But so far, so good. So, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you again soon.